Hey, hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Elma. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. So this is going to be quite different from what you usually see on my channel. I know I'm a makeup channel, but I am going to try and branch out a little bit because there's more to me than just makeup. And I thought that the best way to get back into the let's talk, because I think I only did like one video like two years ago, and that was me ranting about YouTube. I have a second one about the, about a YouTube rant coming up very soon, I promise. But I wanted to start off my Let's Talk by something quite positive. And I do hope that by me talking about this, it's going to help someone out there. Because honestly, um, I'm, a whole new, I'm a whole new woman. <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense but anyway if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and really let me know that you want to see this kind of content and also if you have any topics in mind you would like to see please comment below so that you know I can check them out and um, if you want to see more videos from me please click on that little subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you're notified when I have new videos up which are usually on Wednesdays and Fridays Without no further ado, let's get right into it. Quite recently, I came to a realization that I have to live in the moment and enjoy the moment and stop looking, not to stop looking forward, but stop procrastinating doing certain things because of how I felt vis-a-vis um, -vis my body and for a very long time was a very harsh perception of myself backdrop i moved to canada in 2012 and like i started living on my own and then i moved in with my boyfriend and during the year i was living alone i added like so much weight like so 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 much weight i'm quite petite like i'm 5'2 or 1 meter 59 uh, in front like in, in the metric system and so like when I add weight it was like I was a, like a ball basically I don't even think I have pictures of that time because that's when I stopped taking like full body pictures of myself which is quite interesting because that's when I started doing YouTube so it's like yeah it's contradictory kind of like paradoxical but yeah so I added weight and it did not go well with my family at all like my parents were not having it like the minute I like anytime I go back home it's like yeah you gotta eat like you know we gotta hit the gym I was like overweight basically and like my dad was more of the things like oh you know like he's diabetic so he's he's he his thing was oh you know like it's so unhealthy you could like you know get sick easily like you know you need to be fit so anytime I used to go back home or before I used to go back home I used to be like so anxious like I would starve myself and like not want to eat and actually around that time as well and I don't think a lot of people know this but I was bulimic and <laughs> that shit doesn't do anything let me just tell you right now like anorexia bulim anorexia like you could like actually like you know like as a woman you know that could affect your period like fertility all those things like it's not good bulimia i don't think it affects the same way but it does not help in any shape or form like trust me if you do not lose weight if you binge eat and then puke it out like you know that's that's not the way it works i'm gonna get into like i'm gonna probably do a whole other video about like being bulimic and everything but that was how low things were and like i didn't like myself like i didn't take any like full body pictures and I, you know, I was always so anxious when it was like time to go back home because I'm like, damn, I'm taking all this weight. Like, and to be honest, like, honestly, people will be like, oh, why don't you just go to the gym? Da, 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 da. I'm a lazy fuck, okay? Like, I'm not even gonna try and pretend that I even like the gym. I, I, I freaking hated it. So, like, when I'd go back home, I'd go to the gym, like, basically every day, like Monday to Friday, Monday to Saturday in the morning. And I, I just hated it but I would lose weight and then like come back to Montreal and get back to my normal habits and add the weight back again so it's like up down up down up down like I wasn't comfortable in, like in my in myself anymore but weirdly enough it never like affected me sexually like I would like my boyfriend always made me feel like super pretty I didn't like shopping for clothes anymore I didn't like taking full-body pictures 
I always kept like this one outfit I'll be like yeah I'm gonna lose weight and sometimes I'll go on these like diets where I'll be like taking you know diet pills or like Garcinia Cambodia I don't know how many articles I read on that shit or like uh, appetite suppressants like but the thing with me is like even though <laughs> even though I used to take all these things first and foremost I love food and I love to cook so it's like I'll starve myself and then it's like I'll cook this really amazing meal and I'll just like you know eat 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 and not be super active except for you know going to uni and stuff like that and then it was just like adding more and more weight I'm not going to go into things that was said to me but like it was really some horrible shit that just honestly truly scars a person so like I never felt comfortable you know like going out hanging out with people like they're like oh take a picture blah, blah, blah. I'm like hey if the camera is not here you know facing down just my face I ain't gonna take a picture so for a very long time no pictures of me like full body or anything like even if you go scroll through my Instagram it's only very very recently that I started posting uh, more pictures of myself and I'm not even that I have that much but I have some upcoming uh, of like full body and stuff so like stuck in this rut and honestly I have the bestest friends in the world like they were always like man you're so pretty you're so beautiful like love your body da 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 and I was just like you say that's because you're thin da, da 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 and like I never believed it like even my boyfriend would be like oh you're so beautiful and like in the back of my mind I'm always like yeah right it really like ruled the way I approach people and like even like sometimes I'll talk to people and I'll always like find myself putting myself down and like like with social media and stuff like that like it didn't help because like Instagram you see all these skinny models like skinny tea skinny this and I've tried them all like that thing does not work <sighs> I tried everything possible and I was just in this whole you know denial mode like even when I would buy clothes for myself like I knew that clearly this is not gonna fit me uh, but I would still buy it because I'm like oh you know I'll just lose a little bit of weight and I can fit in it that is not the way to that that is not the way to live trust and believe it is not the way to live so towards the end of 2017 I decided to slowly but surely like change my mindset on how I perceive myself I just stopped like started to unfollow a whole bunch of like skinny models and honestly when okay let me just little disclosure I have nothing against people who are skinny thin or like all body shape is beautiful however when you're someone like me who's like affected by such things following such people does not help like I stopped following those kinds of people and started following models like Ashley Graham, like Leticia, like all these really beautiful curly models just owning everything and I was like wow like this is a different standard and like you know my BMI is probably not where it should be I should probably be more active or whatever and I'm, I am eventually gonna get there but I am more open and willing to get there because I accept myself as I am now because before I'll be like oh I don't have to eat I have to gym I have to do this so I can be that and and, and when I'm that I'm gonna be like happy yeah when I'm skinny I'm gonna be doing this when I'm skinny I'm gonna be doing that oh and like even like with my when my like one of my really close friends from Ghana like Millie like would be like yeah this year's the year we lose the weight and I know on my part I didn't do anything man sorry Millie but like I came to a realization that yo this is not clearly this method is not working me hating myself is not working me putting myself completely down is not working because as I was putting myself down and hating myself like my social presence just just completely evaporated like not comfortable going outside like for them like I love winter because it was like baggy sweaters 
coats and the minute it started to be warmer i'm just like fuck like i can't i can't wear a sweater <laughs> like when it's freaking 35 degrees outside there's nowhere else to hide and then it's like when summer came it was also like ooh, seeing my parents and it's like that whole unhealthy dynamic of hating myself even more not loving my body not not loving myself like and honestly it's so hindering like it's so hindering slowly but surely like just seeing models that look like me more regularly made me appreciate myself more and i i and i don't only say it's because of that i guess like it, it did help immensely and there's no lie about it like seriously it helped immensely like there are a couple of accounts like the curve like fashion curve and stuff like that like on instagram that just as much as instagram sometimes is just like horrible and you're just like oh comparing lifestyles and stuff like that like i don't do that because i'm just like like i'm i i instagram the the good parts like you don't see me instagramming like with extras and you know so i'm aware and i know how to not be affected by you know all the bling bling however like i do love the positive aspect that has that instagram has brought because you give a platform to these models to be more discovered and accepted and like it's like yo look they have a platform like people are following liking loving their stuff and commenting you know and it's like well damn why what why don't i love myself it's like i got a fucking pretty face man <laughs> and my body ain't that bad either <laughs> so it's like oh this girl like she doesn't think she should no i am the shit dude like it, it it may sound very cocky and very like obnoxious to some but honestly if there's anything you should take out of this video is you are your biggest supporter like no <laughs> nobody is gonna support you and rock hard for you as much as you trust and believe like if you're waiting for your boyfriend your girlfriend your whoever if you're waiting for them to give you the whoop whoop you know you're amazing that you can wait all your life honestly like a couple of years i would have watched me saying this i would have been like what the wrong this girl like it ain't that easy no actually it is honestly this is something that has truly helped me in accepting myself is it may sound like pompous or whatever you want to call it but just like one day just look at yourself in the mirror and instead of like you know picking yourself apart compliment yourself say something positive about yourself even you know what just now pause the video and comment below and tell me something positive you love about yourself I dare you to do that just comment below and tell me something positive you love about yourself like seriously it's crazy what just that does because if you're waiting for some approval from some next person you're gonna wait a long time honey and I'm not saying that you're never gonna get it you are but if you're not supporting yourself and loving yourself first no one is gonna follow like what do they say like who no one is here to blow your trumpet but yourself or something along those lines i don't remember the expressions ever but you get my point that being said yeah i do want to exercise and get more fit and more tone but i'm not gonna like not live in the main in the meantime so it's like now that i've come to this realization the way i am living my life it feels good it's like there's some kind of like weight lifted off my shoulders and i'm not saying that there are days where i don't you know pick myself apart because like i do suffer from like anxiety you know everybody have their bad days and those days are gonna happen but most days love myself and it doesn't only have to do with like you know people who are more curvy like even people who are thinner whatever it is whatever your morphology is or whatever it is you don't like about yourself you need to stop that shit like seriously let's not take this into 2019 like what there's way too much horrible things in the world going on to start picking ourselves apart and be like oh i don't like this about myself this is this is that you know you know let's have that positive space and i know it sounds so peace and love kumbaya but like honestly it truly is amazing to just and it's so much less stressful the way my skin has cleared <laughs> because i'm less stressed about this nonsense and it just it just feels good so 
I think I'm gonna end the video here. I do hope that this helped somewhere, someone, somewhere, somewhere over the rainbow. Honestly, sometimes I talk and I like songs just come in my head. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Please comment below. Tell me something you freaking love about yourself. Like, think. Just put in the comments below, and let's get the conversation going. And yeah. I do hope you like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!